In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you five common mistakes that even I still make within RetroArch. Now, if you're familiar with my stuff, you know I don't mess around, so let's just get straight into it. Mistake number one is remapping your controls in the incorrect place. For some games or systems, you might wanna swap around some buttons and you wanna make sure that you do that from the quick menu. So if you go into the quick menu, we go into controls, make sure that you change it here. You do not want to change it from the main configuration in the input section here. So make sure that you don't do it here, do it from the quick menu and then go into controls. Mistake number two is something that caught me out for the longest time. And that's trying to update your cores when the core is already loaded. So I've got a Naomi game loaded up with the Flycast core. Let's go down to online updater, core downloader, find the Flycast core, there it is. Now, if I was to attempt to update this whilst the Flycast core is loaded, it won't update me to the most recent version. So you wanna make sure that you have no content and no core loaded into RetroArch when you update your cores. Mistake number three, it's not really a mistake, but it's not knowing where to set your light gun inputs. Now, these are not done from the quick menu. They're done from the main input section of RetroArch. So let's go into this option here go all the way down to port one controls. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see that we've got our light gun inputs here. So you can set them to whatever you need them to be and make sure that you do that for all of the ports that you're using. Common mistake number four is not utilizing your per game settings. So you might want to make some changes to controls, for example, to one game, but keep all of the other games exactly the same, which you can do. So let's go into quick menu. Let's go into controls, for example. So if I was to change around my controls and then I'm like, right, I only want this to take place for this one game, I would then go out to manage remap files and then save game remap file. You can also do this on a content directory basis or a core basis. However, I recommend doing this on a per game basis. So just do that and that's it. So next time you load up this game, it will automatically load up these configurations. And finally, common mistake number five is confusing your main RetroArch settings with your core specific settings. And the easiest way to distinguish these is that everything under this menu section here is your global RetroArch settings. And this is the stuff you want to set and then forget. And then any further adjustments you want to make from there needs to be done from the quick menu when the core and content is loaded. So then you can change all of your controls, core options, whatever you need to but just make sure that you think of these two menu items as separate things. So everything here is global RetroArch stuff and everything in this menu is for core specific stuff. There we go, that's five common mistakes that you can make in RetroArch. Now some of these you may have found really obvious and if there's anything in the future that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments below. And if you wanna keep up to date with that, you know what to do. And if you liked today's video, slam me a thumbs up. And apart from that, Go play some games. Adios.